Number 316. How many sides are in a polygon if each interior angle is 165 degrees? So, given tayo ng isang polygon, at yung interior angle daw niya ay 165 degrees. So, ang hinahanap natin dito, ano yung number of sides niya? So, para masolve natin to, gamitin natin yung formula na na-derive natin dun sa isang previous video natin. So, yung formula natin ng interior angle, theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees over M. So ngayon, given tayo ng theta. So masasolve natin yung M dito. So palitan lang natin yung theta ng 165. It's equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees over M. So, para masolve mo to, ilipat mo lang yung 180 degrees sa kabila. So magiging negative 15 degrees is equal to negative 360 degrees over N. So, tanggalin natin yung negative sa both sides. May positive yan. Positive. Tapos yung N ilipat natin dito sa kabila. At yung 15, ilipat na rin natin sa kabila. So, ito magiging N is equal to 360 degrees divided by 15 degrees. So, 360 divided by 15 is equal to 24. So, ito na yung tamang sagot. Ang number of sides natin is equal to 24 sides. At based on sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 317. How many diagonals are there in a polygon of 20 sides? So, given tayo dito ng 20 sides, tapos ang required ay yung number of diagonals dun sa polygon natin. So, tignan natin kung paano ba natin binibilang ang number of diagonals sa isang polygon. So, mag-start tayo sa pinaka-basic ng polygon. Yung pinaka-konti ang sides, which is triangle. Meron tayong triangle. Tapos next ay square. Tapos pentagon. So, dun sa triangle, ilan sa tingin nyo ang number of diagonals? So, wala, di ba? Walang diagonals ang triangle. Kasi lahat to sides. Lahat ng connections ng vertices ay sides. Pero sa square naman, ilan ang number of diagonals natin? Sa square or quadrilateral, kahit anong quadrilateral. So, meron tayong dalawa. Ito, connection ng opposite vertices. Tapos kapag pentagon naman, ilan ang number of diagonals natin? Meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. So, kung mapapansin mo, para magkaroon ka ng diagonal, kailangan mo mag-connect ng dalawang vertex. So, ibig sabihin, yung number of diagonals natin is equal to the total number of possible connections ng vertices natin. Except, yung sides natin. Kasi yung sides natin, counted din as connections ng vertices. For example, itong triangle na to, meron tayong tatlong vertices. So, 1, 2, 3. Tapos, pag kinonect mo yung tatlong vertices na yan, 1, 2, 3. Lahat yung connections ay sides. So, wala siyang extra connection. Kung meron sana tayong extra connection, yun yung diagonals natin. So, sa square naman, or quadrilateral, meron tayong apat. 1, 2, 3, 4. So, ikokonect mo yung apat na yan ngayon. So, meron tayong possible connections. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, sa triangle, meron tayong 3 connections. Sa square, meron tayong 6 connections. Sa pentagon naman, so meron tayong 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 vertices. So kapag i-coconnect mo lahat yan, meron tayong 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10. 10 possible connections. So ano nakikita mong pattern ngayon? Yung number of diagonals is equal to the number of connections minus yung number of sides ng polygon natin. So dito, meron tayong 3 connections minus 3 sides of a triangle, 0. So 0 ang diagonal natin dito. So dito naman, ilan ang connections natin? 6, di ba? Tapos meron tayong 4 na sides. Pag minus mo yan, meron tayong 2 diagonals. So sa pentagon naman, meron tayong 10 connections minus 5 sides 
meron tayong 5 diagonals. So ngayon alam na natin yung pattern. Yung number of diagonals is equal to the number of connections connections minus number of sides. So yung number of sides natin yun yung n. So sa problem given tayo ng number of sides. Ngayon paano natin malalaman yung number of connections? So yung number of connections is equal to the combination of the number of vertices. So kung meron tayong 20 sides, meron din tayong 20 vertices. Tapos kukunin natin yung number of combinations taken two at a time. So yung number of connections is equal to yung number of sides or number of vertices combination of n taken two at a time. So magkukunin ka ng dalawang vertices at a time minus number of sides. So, meron na tayong formula ngayon. Number of diagonals or D is equal to N combination 2 minus yung number of sides which is also N. So, ito na yung formula natin. D is equal to N C2 minus N. So, pwede mo yan i-memorize. Or, basta naintindihan mo lang kung paano natin nakuha yan, hindi mo na kailangan i-memorize yan. Kayang-kaya mo i-derive yan by your own. So, gamitin natin to para masolve yung problem natin. So, ito yung formula na derived natin kanina. Ang number of diagonals natin is equal to combination of n taken two at a time minus n. So, solve natin ngayon yung problem. So, meron tayong 20 sides or n is equal to 20. So, ang number of diagonals natin is equal to 20 combination 2 minus 20. So, solve natin yan. So, 20 shift combination 2 minus 20 so meron tayong 170 number of diagonals 170 at dun sa choices letter B to number 318 find each interior angle of a hexagon so meron daw tayong hexagon Tapos ang hinahanap natin ay yung interior angle niya. So simple lang tong problem na to. Kasi meron na tayong formula kung paano mag-solve na interior angle. Given the number of sides. So ilang sides ba meron ng hexagon? So meron tayong 6. N is equal to 6. So yung formula natin ng interior angle, theta is equal to 180 degrees minus 360 degrees divided by N. So, given tayo ng n, palitan lang natin yan ng 6. So, ang theta natin is equal to 180 minus 360 divided by 6. 180 degrees minus 60 degrees. So, ang theta natin is equal to 120 degrees. So, based on sa choices, letter B ang 120 degrees. So, yun ang tamang sagot. Number 319 Given a triangle C is equal to 100 degrees A is equal to 15 meters B is equal to 20 meters Find C So given tayo ng triangle ABC Ang angle C daw natin is equal to 100 degrees Ang side A natin is equal to 15 At ang side B natin is equal to 20 So by the way, sa naming convention ng triangles Yung vertices natin are named capital letters. So, meron tayong A, B, C na capital letters. Tapos, yung opposite ng mga angles natin or vertices natin ay the same letter pero small letter. So, dito, opposite ng capital letter A ay small letter A. Tapos, opposite ng capital letter B ay small letter B. Isang din dito, capital C, opposite niya ay small letter C. So, ito yung side na hinahanap natin. Hindi natin alam yan. So, ang formula ang gagamitin natin sa problem na to ay yung cosine law or law of cosines. So, ano nga bang law of cosines? So, for example, meron tayong side A. Isang side of the triangle. So, ang formula natin dito para masolve natin to A squared is equal to the other two sides. So, meron tayong B squared plus C squared minus 2 times these two sides. So, B times C. 
times yung cosine of the angle opposite to the side we are solving. So yung sinasolve natin na side ay letter A, di ba? So dapat yung cosine natin dito ay cosine A din. So the same din, for example, side B ang sinasolve natin. Same pattern din. So meron tayong B squared is equal to the other two sides, A squared plus C squared minus 2 times yung the other two sides, A times C. Tapos cosine yung opposite na angle ng side natin. So cosine B. And finally, kapag side C naman ang sinasolve natin, same pattern lang din. So, ano yung other sides natin? Meron tayong a squared plus b squared minus 2ab cosine of c. So, dun sa problem natin, ang gagamitin natin ay ito. So, ito na yung formula natin. Ang gagawin na lang natin ay substitute natin yung mga values na given tayo. So, ang c squared natin, so, para matanggal yung squared, square root natin yung kabila. So, ang c natin is equal to the square root of a squared. So, ano nga ba yung A natin? 15. 15 squared plus yung B natin ay 20. 20 squared minus 2 times 15 times 20 times cosine of angle C. So, yung angle C natin ay 100 degrees. So, solve natin yung C gamit ang calculator. So, square root of 15 squared plus 20 squared minus 2 times 15 times 20 times cosine of 100 degrees. So, ang letter C natin ay 27.003 or 27 na lang. Ang value ng C natin ay 27. At based sa choices, letter B ang tamang sagot. Number 320, in a triangle ABC, angle A is equal to 45 degrees and C is equal to 70 degrees. The side opposite angle C is 40 meters long. What is the length of the side opposite angle A? So given tayo ng triangle ABC ulit, so yung angle A natin ay 45 degrees, angle C ay 70 degrees, at yung side C natin ay 40 meters. So, ang hinahanap natin dito ay side A, which is opposite na 45 degrees. So, dito ang gagamitin naman natin formula ay yung law of sines. So, bakit law of sines ang gagamitin natin dito? Kasi meron tayong given na pair of angle and side. So, meron tayong angle C, di ba? Tapos, meron din tayong side C. So, part na yung dalawang yan. Kanina, dun sa problem natin na ginamitan natin ng law of cosines, wala tayong angle and side pair. Kasi given tayo kanina ng angle C, Pero ang hinahanap natin ay yung side C. So hindi natin magagamit yung law of sines kanina. Pero dito, since meron tayong pair, so meron tayong angle C at meron tayong side C, magagamit natin yung law of sines. So yung law of sines, ginagamit to kapag given ka ng angle and side pair. So, dapat given yan, meron kang angle and side pair. So, ito yung formula natin. A over sine A is equal to B over sine B is also equal to C over sine C. So, may kita mo dapat meron kang pair. Kasi kung wala kang pair ng angle and side, hindi ka makakabuo ng equation dito. So, dito ang hinahanap natin na yung A. Tapos, given tayo ng angle C at side C. So, ang gamitin natin itong dalawang to. I-equate natin dalawang yan. So, meron tayong A over sine A is equal to C over sine C. Ilipat natin itong sine A sa kabila. So, ito maging A is equal to sine A over sine C times side C eto, side C yan eto capital letter C eto small letter C so sine A so yung angle A natin is equal to 45 degrees so sine 45 degrees divided by ang sine C natin 
angle sini adalah 70 degrees sin 70 degrees times yung side sini natin which is 40 meters 40 meters so solve natin gamit yung calculator so sin 45 degrees over sin 70 degrees times 40 so meron tayong 30.099 or 30.1 meters so ang tamang sagot dito ay 30.1 meter or meters at based sa choices letter D ang tamang sagot 